By the time I land in actual Czech Republic, it's like a 12 hour flight because we go from from one country to the other. I am starving. And my, my father-in-law is like, I know you're hungry. What do you want? I'm like, bro, Subway, if there's anyone near me. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> first of all, first of all, let me unpack this. First of all, why don't you eat on an airplane? Because it's an, um, my anxiety, I throw up. I don't even go okay. to the bathroom. And it's like 12-hour flight, bro. I, I'm like sleeping like this. That's, that, for me, my anxiety is so crazy. I gotta figure. I gotta figure something out because the wife is like, dude. I brought. Like, I brought. Bro, a we gotta go. We I brought. Gotta a, go. I brought a lunchbox <laughs> with little, some sandwiches, some chips and shit in it. Like I was fucking eating like a king on the plane, watching a movie. That's uh, the one. The best. You know, bro. I catch up on a movie. Yeah. I eat a little food. I don't. I, I don't watch the news. Snore like fucking the whole it. week before flying. I don't watch the news. I don't watch anything that has to do with airplanes because for me, it's this. It, it drives my anxiety. Can't even watch. When Civil I drive War. to the airport, when I drive to the airport, even if it's Uber, I'm shut. Nothing. I'm not even talking. I'm looking outside. I'm looking outside. I'm looking for signs of God. If this is the day, please give me a sign. The last thing you want to do is look up and see fucking some engine failure. <laughs> Yo, that would be the sign. <laughs> but my anxiety is just like it, it, it's just too crazy. But I have to get over it. Um, I get over it every four. Not, I, I sat. I, I go through it every four years because that's when we go to Czech Republic every four years, and that's because that's me putting up with it. Like, okay, f- I, we have to go. Um, because she wants to see her parents and all that, but mm-hmm. it's it's the it's the I think I gotta do some of that some therapy for that shit. Damn, yeah, nah, I don't eat in the airplane. I, I feel bad, to, but no, yeah, that, that's crazy, Messiah. No, I don't mm-hmm. eat in the airplane. I try to do everything before because I don't want to deal with walking through the aisle and then fighting for the bathroom, and then you got no internet in the plane, so I don't have Instagram to be when I'm on the toilet. So I try my best. Like if, I have my, if I have my water bottle, I control that. I'm like, all right, if I can just stay thirst, if I can stay thirsty, then I don't got to use the bathroom. All See, I got to do is maintain the minimum. That's it all it. it all depends on where you're flying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I, I, I mainly go to Florida to Jersey, two hour, maybe two and a half hour flight. It's enough to watch one full movie of something. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, Dude, I'm not gonna need to like unless I'm I'm like hurting from something else. I shouldn't need to shit or piss like the two hours I'm there. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going in, dude. I used to go when so, you know, I used to sometimes I'd fly United and there's upgrade chart. You could do an upgrade to first class. So sometimes I'd buy my ticket. I'm just like you know, and I buy it early and I'm like, oh, I gotta pay for this ticket because I don't have the money. And then I get there, it's like, oh, sixty bucks and you can upgrade to first class. I'm like, you know what, sixty bucks, fuck that, let's do it. (laughs) Dude, next thing I know, I've done that, I'm bro. like the country song, getting drunk on a plane. Dude, yeah. I've done just that, bro. Loving that, life. Then I open up a three hour flight. Fuck it. Snacks, warm cookies, <laughs> towels for my face. I'm feeling like a fucking boss. You know what I'm saying? I almost I, did I it. Done that. I almost did it on the United flight back from New Jersey because they had the really high end first class that was like a little separate container. And like, so you had like, you know, because it was a. I guess a plane that's for made, made more for long distance rather than what we were flying. Mm. I almost did it for that one. It was like 180 bucks. I was like, I'm not spending $180 Damn. for two yeah. hours. Fuck that. I, I did it once. We were going from, from Miami. It was just a short flight. It was from Miami to Orlando. And they're like, there's a, seats available. Um, you guys want to do the upgrade? I'm like, fuck, I'm going to do it. My manager was like, yo, why the fuck are you doing it, bro? It's just an hour flight. Like, not even a half an hour flight. But bro, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die in first class. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> upgrading, I go, bro, they're going to give they, that's, I want whatever they're drinking. Right. And then, uh, when I did it, bro, turbulence through the whole fucking flight. I didn't even get to, they didn't give you nothing to drink. They, yo, I'm like, my every, everybody in the group was like, you stupid. They're all laughing at me. Like you stupid. You upgraded. You sat, they sat there all day. No food, nothing. That's like, yeah. If I ever fly across the, over the seas, like Czech Republic, like you do or something, that's where I want to be fucking first class. You know, yeah, that shit's facts. worth it. If I'm going to be stuck on yeah. a plane for fucking five, six, seven hours, let me do that shit. It's where, almost like, it's almost like thing, bro. Yeah. Let her, you know, you probably get a happy finish and everything. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> let's go. It's, no, it's almost like beds with, uh, and, and depending the airline. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want. Yeah. I want the full meal experience. So, I want beds. But I want fine alcohol. He is, Oh, Here's another no. airplane story that I have, and it, it's weird because how my mind works sometimes, right? So this is woman flying from um, the same day that I told you that I, I almost ran. I walked out the airport because of my son's graduation. Yeah, we got on that same airplane. There was a woman sat next to me. She had worse anxiety than I did. She was literally crying, 
And she was like, oh, I can't shit. believe they're making me do this. Fuck that, I'm driving back, my family. But she was literally crying. She cried from the minute we took off. All I did is, at that moment, my anxiety went away. I reached out to her, I'm like, you'll be fine. Everything that I've learned about, like, hey, it's just statistics, everything I've heard from people tell me, and I'm like, you'll be fine. It's this, um, statistically, this is better, this is and that. And I, and I held her hand, and she just calmed down. And I was calm, and she was calm. And then after a long time, after like an hour or two, my wife was like, okay, you can let go of her arm now. I go, babe, but she's fucking, like, she's an older lady, right? But, um, but I, I think the, the person that wants to take care of another person kicked in for me in the airplane. And I, and I wasn't even paranoid anymore. I was worried more about this person than myself. Dude, I'm going to hit, I'm going to reach out to your wife so she can help you out. I'm going to have her start panicking before every flight. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that just is weird. I can't see somebody panic. Just just panic right before the, right before you get on the plane, just have a nervous breakdown and he'll be so distracted trying to take care of you. You won't realize that, you know, the thing is that when I panic, I don't panic in the outside. I panic in the inside. Nobody knows I'm going through shit. I'm my head, but in my head, it's fucking everything's running and racing. And that's why I try to sleep in the airplane. I try to do things because for me, every, anything, any fear or any paranoia that I go through, I keep it internal. I don't let that shit out. See but when later, I see somebody Tasha. else going through it, have a good night. Naturally, I just try to help out. Good night, Tasha. See, night, we're up, we're out, we're up too early for these kids, man. They got to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. you know? I mean, jeez. It's like. What is it? It's seven o'clock. She's going. Oh yeah, she works um, delivering mail. She probably wakes up at four o'clock in the morning. No, nah, she's on here at ten o'clock with us. She probably just. Has to I know. Go, like, that sounds. Dinner. It's just weird, right? She's probably going to eat dinner or something like a normal person. Oh. I'm starving. Believe me. All right, so let's talk I know. about. I got food on the side. I'm like, bro. Right? <laughs> I'm about to go get I'm some food starving. after this. We're talking about airplane food. I'm getting hungry. Speaking of airplane food, though, right now with this whole COVID thing and all.